you. Oh, you're so, you're too kind. Is TikTok to blame when your kid goes insane? And will big tech pay the price for treating our kids like laboratory mice? Well, several school districts are suing social media giants, alleging they're contributing to a mental health crisis among our nation's youngest, most impressionable minds. Some educators are so upset over this, they've stopped hitting on their students. <laughs> Seattle public schools took time off from calling everything racist and filed the first lawsuit back in January, arguing social media companies designed and marketed their sites to attract minors. Seattle schools said media companies should instead teach kids the basics, like how to make a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> Most recently, Bucks County, Pennsylvania, filed a suit against TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and YouTube. Officials there claiming those platforms actually encourage youth addiction and have exploited developing minds without consequence, exchanging our children's mental well-being for billions in ad revenue. In a statement of Fox News, Meta, previously Facebook, said it's developed more than 30 tools to support teens and families. So do I, actually. <laughs> this from Mark Zuckerberg, who named his initial creation Face Mash, a hot or not game that allowed visitors to compare two students' faces side by side and let them decide who was more attractive. So trusting him with your teens, I don't know, would be like trusting Hunter Biden to get your laptop fixed. <laughs> Dr. Drew, uh, you're a doctor, or so you claim. Mm. Uh, what do you think? I Can you think blame this on the social, what's happening? Oh, 100%. Oh, well, let me ask you, let me re ask you a different question. What are the symptoms? What is this causing? So the most obvious manifestations are in younger females, mm -hmm. teenage girls, depression, suicide, overall anxiety, depression, substance use. It is a disaster mm. for young people's mental health. And then COVID, Put that all on steroids, as you say, not the kind. Yes. A and the schools sent kids home with pads, with electronic pads. Exposure to porn went up, sexting went up, distress went up. It is out of control. There's n everything you read that's being alleged is categorically true. I don't know how they get from out from under this mm. because we will one day look at the screens where we look at tobacco for sure. Now there, so you're talking that cat. Did you hear what he said? He complained to smoking. You could, now, you could say that we do ban stuff, smoking and alcohol for children, uh, but does it work? I mean, is that, should we be doing that with social media? Is social media like an actual substance that, you, that the teen ingests? Yeah, I don't know if it works. I, 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 don't, I don't know if you're able to actually do that, if it's going to be available to keep kids from going on it. I mean, I did smoke a cig before I was 18. Me too. Uh, yeah, like it's not, I, and I, my parents were very strict, but they couldn't keep me and cigs away all the time. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's still possible. It's about parents. I mean, I never had to deal with cyberbullying growing up. I I deal with it now. Yeah. <laughs> and like the people, you know, it's like I didn't have to deal with it as a kid, but now I'm being cyberbullied by people old enough to be these kids' grandparents or even my grandparents. So Did it ever occur to you that those are the wives of the older men that you just <laughs> thanked? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I love you too, wives. <laughs> uh, don't listen to what your husband says. <laughs> I don't know. But some of them are. There's this one guy named Dan yeah. who, who just says horrible things about me every single night. He never has other plans. So he's a bully and a loser. Wow. Um, but I think so it's parents. They need to, like, pay attention to what their kids are doing online. Yes. But also, like, what kind of maybe, maybe are you are you being jerks? Do your kids see you being jerks online? Because if they see you being a jerk, maybe they think it's OK for them to be jerks. Mm. It's not just the being jerks part. That's part of it is also again yeah, we the, need to sue all the hot people so well I there's don't that feel bad. <laughs> it's the comparing it's the you know it's the sexting it's the porn exposure and it's what porn exposure now average age is like nine or something that's crazy yeah it's super crazy that's crazy well i didn't have a cell phone growing up but uh <laughs> i had a bit of a dirty childhood yes except it was different you couldn't pick up a phone you have to go into the woods and find that little stack of pornos yes that somebody uh left and then you and your friends would do things and never acknowledge it again to each other <laughs> that's what it was like until you're on TV in front of millions of people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, guess what I used to do when I was a boy. Yeah, and they yep. all know that. It was a, it was more of a challenge. That was those were the adventurous days when we were young PAB. So we're we're, we're learning that children are also uh, uh, obsessed with status. Like it's another thing. Like for example, when I was growing up, I had no idea what my neighbors what my neighbors' parents did for a living, how much money they had, if they had a swimming pool. I didn't know. I was friendless, alone, sad, but I didn't know. 
I didn't know if people were having a better time than me. But if I, there was Instagram, I would know everybody was having a better time. That would drive me nuts. Yes, absolutely. I'd say ignorance is bliss. And uh, when I was growing up, you know, there were probably parties that I wasn't invited to. And, you know, sometimes you'd get a sense that maybe there were things you were missing, but you never really knew for sure. And now you know for sure. And it, it isn't just the kids who are damaged by that. I, I know a lot of people my age sure. who are just, you know, they see something on Facebook. Oh, my gosh, all of my friends got together and I wasn't invited. And it's very hurtful to all ages. But when it comes to the kids, you know, the comparison to smoking, I think, is accurate because... Um, they were arguing back then that they were manipulating the nicotine to make it maximally right. addictive, the same way they say they're manipulating social media. They've studied the brain and figured out how to get you to keep going and going on it, and they're supposedly doing it on purpose. But it goes back to the question of how do you stop it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to say that the in, in person, you know, emphasizing humans in space, flesh meeting is really important because that's what makes people healthy. More time on the screen, less emotionally you know, healthy. But, Jim, shouldn't these kids just grow up? Add a boy, Greg. You know, that's <laughs> parents. I mean, stop whining. Parents are the blame. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. they don't. They're spoiled. Like when I was a kid, if I like, if I got a, a, a math question wrong, yeah. I got burned with a cigarette or hit across the teeth with a phone. <laughs> But then I made sure I studied my math. Yes, there you go. <laughs> and now, you know, you should thank your parents. I do, often. I, I, sometimes I'll call my mom, and I'll look at a scar, and I'll go, thanks, mom. And she goes, You're welcome. She goes, who is this? <laughs> Jim, I told you never to call me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think part of it is the parents, too. Yeah, well, there you go. An old man Boy, that, it's everybody's fault. Yep. All right. All right.